guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing fine. So today's makeup look is all about using one brand. So yes, I have used only Nykaa's product, actually Nykaa's in-house product. Also, I have listed down the products used in my description box. So yes, you guys can easily check out the links that I have listed down. And also this video is not at all sponsored. I have purchased everything with my own money. So yes, I will be giving you honest reviews. So yes guys, without much talking, let's get started. I am using Nykaa Skin Genius Hydrating and Sculpting Foundation. Also, I have already prepped and primed my skin. With the help of stippling brush from Pag, I blend it out quickly. Next, using my Nykaa Skin Genius Compact Powder in the shade Beige Rose and taking my Crown Fluffy Powder Brush, I buff it all over my face so to stop the foundation creasing. So this is how it looks after I have applied foundation and going ahead I take my Nykaa Correct and Conceal palette in the shade Light and I pick up these two shades with my pack 363 brush and apply it on the areas of my face which I want to highlight. You can totally skip this step if you want to keep your base light but in my case I really love to uplift the higher points of my face I just go ahead with it and apply it. So now this is how I conceal my eyelids so that it does not look uneven as compared to the rest of my face. Also, I apply it on the bridge of my nose, my cupid and my chin. These are the generally uplifted areas of a face so I am highlighting them again and again. And now here I am blending it. Guys, blending is very important since it's the only key to achieve smooth and flawless makeup. So I take my buff brush from pack 280 and buff it all over my face. Sixty percent of your makeup is complete when we blend it correctly. So yes, this is very important step. Now taking the same compact, I apply it all over my face so that my base stays locked in. I've already done my eyebrows, in this video I'm not showing how to do it. Now I take my cheeky blush palette and take this shade with my fluffy pro art AE24 brush and I apply it in the socket of my eyes just to give it a little bit of depth. And so, I do the same thing on the other eye. And see how gorgeous it looks. Next, 
taking the Nykaa Get Inked Eyeliner, I create dark bold eyeliner. This is what I told in my previous Nykaa video that how pigmented is this eyeliner and how easy it becomes to achieve dark bold winged eyeliner so I'm just in love with this eyeliner pencil. Next going ahead I put my falsies on. I'm not showing how to put falsies in this video but yes if you wish to see how I put them so please do let me know in the comments. Yes I'll create a video for it. So yes coming back to the face I'm taking the same color correct palette from Nykaa and take this dark brown shade with my ProArt PF01 brush and I gently apply it to the whole of my face just to get that sculpted look Next, taking my pack 237 brush, I blend it out so that no harsh lines are seen. Now, in order to set this, I take this crown brush and take this shade from the same blush palette and pat it on the same place so that my cream contour does not crease now let me tell you this step is important only if you use cream contour otherwise you can skip this step and directly apply your powdered bronzer I take this pink shade from the same blush palette and apply it to the corners of my cheeks remember not on the apples but yes on the side of the apples of my cheek because applying blush on the apples of the cheeks make the face looks more fuller and I really don't want my face to look fuller now coming to the lips I'm taking this two shades from Nykaa one is Gul and the other is Hot Coco first I generously apply the Gul shade And just to intensify the look, I take this hot cocoa shade and go ahead with it. And so yes, here I'm done. Guys, if this video was helpful and you really enjoyed this video, so please don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. Until we meet next time, bye!